it is a, it is a very fascinating organization. 121 years old. How many organizations is that? UFGO, the global network of forest science, unites about 15,000 forest science in about 650 members in more than 120 countries. So we really are the global network of forest scientists. And we're so pleased to bring so many uh, scientists here to the UFO Lab third conference here in Latin America. About 600 participants, and we couldn't have done that without the great cooperation with CATI and CIFO, of course. We're looking forward this evening to celebrate the 20 years anniversary of CIFO and the 20 years, 40 years anniversary, sorry, for CATI. And then we look forward in 2017 to celebrate the 125th year anniversary of UFRO. So I welcome you all for that. But before that, I really hope to see you all at the UFRO World Congress 2014 from October 5 to October 11 in Salt Lake City, United States, where we count on gathering about 3, 4,000 forest scientists from all over the world. So UFRO really truly is the global network of forest science. There's so much excellent forest science going on in Latin America, and that's the case also in the rest of the world. But we don't communicate well enough. Why? Because we don't know each other, and because also the language barrier. So I'm sorry I can't give this interview in Spanish. I have to improve on that. Uh, so, but I'm really sure that during this conference here, we have had lots of networking. Yesterday evening, we presented what is UFO is about, because it is difficult if you don't know it. How do you get involved? And hopefully, we'll get many more involved for the benefit of UFO, for the benefit of Latin America. So that is really my wish, and I'm sure we'll accomplish that. We have many active office holders. I can't write out my head, give you my number. We have special working parties, we have special research group focusing on something of interest for Latin America. But I would say, compared to what, how many participants we have from Europe, compared, for instance, I think I have the figure from Brazil, we have about seven members from Brazil. Count, think about that when we have about the same in my small country, Denmark. We have half a million hectares of forest in Denmark, and we have about the same number as you have in Brazil. Or think about Chile, where I've been traveling a lot. Lots of forests, lots of challenges. Think about Argentina, so think about Peru, Bolivia. There's so many challenges there, and I'm sure that we could help each other much more in the future. For the benefit of all. I think the biggest challenge is to get to know each other, and then it is the language barrier also. Uh, we have to, well, I'm going home for this and I'm going to take a Spanish course. <laughs> I've done that before, but I could still improve. So I think that is something which could really uh, go across. But then I also think that since we have the next, again, UFO World Congress in 2019, in Brazil, in Curitiba, I think that will really stimulate uh, the cooperation.